GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. My name is Richie from Richie's Kennel. Keep on watching GH Dog TV. Stay tuned. Hello dog lovers, welcome to GH Dog TV. This is your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One, you can call me the dog blogger. If this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, I'll kindly urge you to subscribe to our channel to always be updated whenever we drop yet another exclusive and amazing dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at GH Dog Blogger. And also log on to our official website at www.gh dogblogger.com this program is also proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and puppy milk you want a dog feed for your dog just link up with them their number is 0244-820-350 today i'm visiting a kennel yes today i'm visiting a kennel and trust me today's episode is a different one altogether trust me they are different breeds of dogs right here now before i i i introduce the people at this kennel Let's go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Okay, dog lovers, welcome, welcome back to the show. Just as I told you, today's show promises to be a different one altogether. And you can see I have this lovely family right here. I have this beautiful lady on my right hand side. And I have these wonderful gentlemen right here as well. We are going to get up close with all of them. We are going to check out all of the dogs right here. I know you love the kennel visits and that's why we are bringing it to you right on the show today. So before I start, I would love um, our lovely guests to introduce themselves to my lovely viewers. Please, I'd like you to mention your name and what role you play at this kennel. Okay, I'm um, Kukua. Yes, and I take care of the, the small dogs. That's beautiful. Lovely viewers, you heard it from me. She takes care of the small dogs. So that means there are bigger dogs here and there are smaller dogs. Okay, um, and I have uh, this wonderful gentleman here. I call him Rev. Rev, you're w welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Ro. Thank you, Ro. Okay, um, let me allow you to introduce yourself to my lovely viewers. Ed, I think I haven't even mentioned the name of this kennel as well, so you can mention it for me. <laughs> uh, my name is Reverend Patrick Uzuanza, the CEO of Blessed Empire Kennel. Nice one, that's the boss man himself of Blessed Empire Kennel. And bro, it's, it's been a while. Uh, it's been a while. We've, it's been a long time since we met, you know. Yeah. I think the first time we met was at the KUG Dog Show. Yeah, yeah, last year at Dolo, I remember. Yeah. You actually brought one Rottweiler, if I can remember the name, it's like, is it Astor? Or yeah, Ka Astor. I brought Astor, the, the three-time world champion. Yeah, yeah. That's beautiful. This this kennel is filled with lots of champions right here. So let me allow you to introduce yourself to my lovely viewers as well. Also the role you play over here. My name is Nana Bafuasari. Um, I'm a junior brother to the CEO. Uh, so definitely if the CEO is there, then probably maybe I'm the manager. Yeah. <laughs> Nice one, nice one, nice one. Lovely viewers, that's a wonderful family behind Blessed Empire Kennel and you're going to get up close. I'm sure you are loving some of the scenes and the dogs around here. I've seen a French Bulldog, a Chow Chow, Rottweilers and all of that. So Rev, um, let me start from um, um, this part. Uh, your name starts with a, a title, that's a Rev. I'd like you to tell us something about it. No, I'm actually a Reverend Minister, an Odin Reverend Minister. Would you like to would you like to disclose the church or you keep it? Uh, uh, my father is Bishop Bernardo Uzuanza. That is the founder of Praise Valley Temple. Now here in Ghana we have a branch uh, that is Spring House Chapel. And so whenever I'm in Ghana, that is where I pastor. Yeah. Nice one, well, that's beautiful. So let's start from this part. Um, I know I was coming here, this is GH Dog TV, and we are coming to take shots of the dogs and everything. But when I came here, I've seen a monkey. I've seen some badgies, some parrots, squirrels. How did the whole thing start? Let me start from the broad aspect. 
how did the the love for animals start? Well, I I don't know how it all started anyway, but then um, year 2005, I came to Ghana and then I visited my my mom. So we're talking. By then I had I had dogs and other animals in the house. Then my mom said to me, "No wonder I have a lot of animals in my house." I said, I asked her why. He said she remember on my eighth birthday. Now my dad asked me, "What do I want?" I told him I want a dog. So my dad couldn't get me a dog that day, and whatever they gave me, I refused it. So the ninth day, uh, the, the following day, that was on the ninth of July. Then my father went to buy me a dog. He said from that day. If you want me to do anything, you just tell me you buy me a dog, and then I will get it done for you. So from from that point of view, I came to understand that the passion has been there even from childhood. And I remember when I completed the senior secondary school, 1993, I came to Accra. My first salary I got, I used it to buy a dog. <laughs> oh, seriously? Yeah, 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 yeah. My first salary, 1993 December, I bought the dog with that money. And my first time I went outside the country, that was UK, 2001 December, January. I preached for a church. The money they gave me, I used that money to buy two dogs, and I brought them to Ghana. <laughs> now let, let's take it. I'm, I'm loving the conversation. Lovely viewers, I'm loving the conversation right here. So um, let me pick up from when you talked about. Uh, was it after SHS? Now let me pick it up from when you were eight years and they got you a dog. Do you remember the specific breed it was? It's my mom that told me. And then I didn't know anything about breed. So I believe it was a local dog. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. And then with your first salary, when you got your first uh, pay and you used it for a dog, which breed was it? If you can recall. That one was a local dog. <laughs> and what about the other one when you were telling you? The one I bought from UK, that was an English Mastiff. Okay, okay. Yes. But then I didn't know anything about dogs. So I brought the dogs to Ghana. And uh, that was 2000, and I came to Ghana. I bought it 2001, and then I sent it to Ghana. Now my first time coming to see the dog was 2005, and when I was coming, I I came through Germany and I bought two Rottweilers too. I brought them. Unfortunately for me, a, a, a sheep got into my compound and then they killed it. So the owner came there nagging, and I said, you know what? Take one of the dogs and replace it. I, I just gave the, the woman the, the dog. He said they would use it for hunting. Then I didn't know anything about breeding. I didn't know the use of those dogs. I just loved them. So that is how. And when I was returning, there was nobody in the house to take care of the dogs. So I dashed all of them. The Rottweilers, the English Rottweilers and the English Mastiff. I didn't know the value of it. So I just dashed it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting. So if I, I, I can conclude, I can say that your first love was an English Mastiff. The first dog I bought was an English master. Conclude that your first love when it comes to dogs was an English well, master. Well, the truth be told, I didn't know anything about dogs, so I just saw a huge dog. Actually, what got me to buy that dog was uh, at Heathrow Airport. I saw a man, a gentleman, a rasta man with a dog, very huge. And then on the escalator, I was climbing. I saw the dog and I, I paused back. He said, Oh, don't worry, it's a family friend. I said, What do you mean? Such a dog is a family friend. So he said, Oh, come close. I came closer and then. I started rubbing the dog. I'm like, okay, he's a nice dog. Then he asked me, do I want one? I said, yes. So that is how I got to buy that dog without even knowing anything about them. But my first love was I came to Ghana 2009 to preach for a church at Adenta. And then I was talking about dogs, not knowing there was a man who was a breeder in the church. So he offered me a Rottweiler. That one really was my first love. I loved that dog so much. Yeah, so that that is even the reason why I got into Rottweiler breeding. Just as you said earlier on, when the first time I heard of Blessed Empire Kennel, the first thing that came into my what I saw was rot, strictly Rottweiler dogs. That was what I, I don't know if I'm getting it wrong, but that is what I noticed. And um, my brother here, uh, when Bafo even came to the KUG dog show, came with lots of Rottweilers and stuff. But today coming here, I'm amazed. I'm seeing different breeds of dogs. Different breeds of dogs. So what actually influenced um, you to go in for these other breeds as well? Okay. Uh, returning back home from Holland, that was 2015. I came and then, however it happened, I don't know, but I found myself in Accra. I was then in Sinyani before I came to Accra. And when I came, I brought in uh, uh, 10 Rottweilers. I had a Rottweiler, a female. And then a friend of mine came from Côte d'Ivoire with another Rottweiler that was a male. 
So he came to leave it in my compound and then it crossed my female. I had 10 puppies, I didn't sell any of them. So I came to Accra with 10 and they were all males. I had came with 10 male Rottweilers and then a female. Now when I came, the, the love for dogs w w increased. So I got other breeds. 2016, I had 24 dogs in my compound. I had Caucasians, I had a, a Boabu, I had a, the Black Shepherd, and then the Rottweilers. Okay, then that means that I'm actually getting it wrong. I have, or maybe I saw only Rot. I actually, well, I will say this. I'm not a breeder yet. I'm yet to find out if I can breed. I'm just a dog lover. But then, at a certain point, having all different breeds in the house, a man visited me, uh, his name is Isa. Uh, when he came around, he went like, ah, Pastor, you have nice dogs, you have a lot of dogs, but this ones, uh, there, there is a business you can do with them. I asked him and then he told me what it is. So I went like, okay, with that, what do I have to do? He said, you need a, 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 a certain type of dogs we call the, the pedigree dogs. Those ones, when you, you, you want to get into the business, they are the best. So I, I told him then I want to have some of those breeds because the ones I was having, even though some I bought them from outside, I didn't know anything about pedigree. So the document even they gave me, I didn't even save them. I, I, I didn't know anything about it. So when he told me, I asked him, so where can I get some of those dogs? He said, oh, we have them in Ghana here. So I was here one day and a friend visited me. Then he told me they are selling a dog, who is, which is a pedigree by name DiCaprio. So I went there. I was interested in the dog. I spoke with the man. He agreed on the price, everything. I said, it "I was a rod too." Yes, it was a rod. I said, "I want to see the dog." Then the owner of the the dog was afraid to touch it. I said, "No." Then I can buy it because I want I want pets, not a dog that is that aggressive. So I didn't buy that dog. I came home, and then that same guy told me there is a man called Humble. He has another one by name Astor. That one is a show dog, so he loved to play, and I said, I want to go there. So I, I didn't even speak with the man, he spoke with him, then we drove there. When there, I saw nice dogs. When I saw that Astor, I said, oh, I want to buy this dog. The man asked me, am I sure? I said, yes. So he told me the price, I said, thank you, I will take that dog. Now, when I told him I would take that dog, I turned and then I saw another dog in the cage, very nice dog. I said, this one, he said, no, this is a female. Is pregnant that one I'm not selling it I said sir if I'm going to buy the male dog then you have to add this one if not I'm not buying so we we're like we we're joking we we're joking then he said okay uh, I wouldn't sell that dog but when, after it gives bed I'll give it to you I said you can do that to me so when we were chatting then he said okay I will, I will do you a favor by giving you that dog but when it gives bed I want to have a puppy of it I said that is cool so I bought that uh, the Astor and then uh, the, the female is Senza I bought the two so when I came home, I was like, okay, this is the real thing. So then I'm going to dispose all the other dogs. That's the Caucasians and the other ones. The Black Shepherd, the Boabu. I had about eight poodles then. So I decided I'm wow. going to get rid of all the dogs and then do just the road because that is really what I wanted. So I got rid of them and then I started with Astor and Senza. And, and that was just last year, 22nd of May. 22nd of May. That's 2019. Yes. So you had Astor and Senza. Senza. Just two. Yes. 22nd of May. So it was then that uh, I, because of the favor Humble did me, I became very nice with him. I was calling him often to ask him what should I do, and then he was encouraging me. And then he said to me, he has a, a friend. Uh, by name Peter Vigilio, who is close to me, so he will introduce me to him. If anything, he will come and help me. So I spoke with him, and he also presented himself very nice. So the two of them, actually, what you see, Blessed Empire, Blessed Empire, the two are the, those behind it. Wow. So they were encouraging me, if they get any good breed, they will tell me, go for this dog, go for that dog. Sometimes I will see a dog I want to buy, and they will tell me, no, don't buy this, go for this one. And that is how it started. So it was in the month of uh, if I'm not mistaken, July. No, it was in June. Then he advised me that uh, now I'm ha I was then having about 16 Rottweilers. Then he said, it's better I register a kennel. That's in early January of this year. That was last year. Last year, okay. Yes, yeah, so he told me I should register a kennel, but then 
I didn't have interest in the breeding. So I didn't do it. So actually, Blessed Empire Kennel was registered just this year. Uh, the Blessed Empire is, is my company. I'm into mining, real estate, and then a couple of little, little businesses I do. But my company name is Blessed Empire. So when I brought in the dogs, then I added that Blessed Empire Kennel. I have Blessed Empire Mining, and then I have the Blessed Empire Kennel. Yes. So that is how it all started. So the kennel was just recently I came in. Wow, so you actually start as I am, let's say with the rot. You started with Astor and Senza. Senza yeah. Wow, and it's all from the advice of Humble Gabriel and Peter Vigilio. Come on, big shout outs to you both, Humble Gabriel and Peter Vigilio, the Olympio. Big shout outs to you, bro. Lovely viewers, um, this show is really getting interesting and i'm loving every bit of it and if this is your first time of watching a video on this channel trust me we, we bring to you amazing and exclusive dog content so if this is your first time kindly subscribe and this program is also proudly sponsored by eminent dog feed and puppy milk you want quality dog feed for your dogs say no more pick the number on our screen 0244-820-350 okay rev um as we were talking um you mentioned getting the dogs and all of that so when did this Birds, chicken, monkeys, how did it also set in? Were they here already or what? How did that also set in? Okay, uh, on top of the trees, you will see a lot of birds there. Uh, I moved in here and after about six months, uh, there were some birds started coming in the house. I'm like, okay, nice birds. Then I managed to get about three of them, put them in the cage. And the way they were, I'm like, okay, it's better I get I get beds and keep them. So I visited a friend and then I saw he had a lot of them. Then he introduced me to a bed trapper who has been bringing the beds to him. So I spoke with him and then he said, oh, he can get me some beds. The first time he brought me 20 beds. Then I said, oh, my cage is too small. He said, oh, he will help me fix a cage. And that is how it also started. So I fixed the first cage, put in the 20 beds. And then the love of it was becoming more. People would come around and they were like, oh, nice, come by, nice beds. And then by the encouragement of the people that were visiting, I decided to go in for more. Yeah, that is how the bed also came in. And then after a while, the, the woman there, she said to me, oh, now the compound is, is, is with dogs, is with other animals. It's better we get a lot of things. At least the children in the hood, they can come and visit. They can see something. And that is how I got into that. Decided to also bring in other animals just to feed my neighborhood. Yeah, the, the kids. I love them when they come around and then we are playing together with the animals. So all the other animals came in as a result of her encouragement and the kids around. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. So you actually encouraged him to get them? Yes. <laughs> Any reason for that? Did you also um, start off as an animal lover? How did, how did they also start off? Actually, he introduced me to the dogs because he gave me my first pet. That is Doxy. Yes. Yeah, so like, actually, I love them. I love the small, small dogs, not the big ones. And he decided to add the bird and everything to it. And I think it's so lovely. When you come here and you see them, the serene is so cool. So yeah. I actually love how colorful they are. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> That's a Frenchy right there. So um let me let me ask you this question then. Um how is the experience with the like with the, believe, the little ones? I believe uh even the big ones, I believe if you treat them well, they too they'll be very nice to you because some people see dogs as just an animal, but me, I believe that dogs are more loyal than even human beings. Yeah, so me, I treat them like I treat my fellow human beings. And yeah, so that is it. See, it's, it's, it's better to put your trust in a dog than a human being. It's, seriously, because <laughs> seriously, dogs are very loyal. If you decide to have one, you will experience what I'm saying. Now, let me move to... Um, Mr. Waffle right here as well. Um, bro, um, let, me, um, let me put it this way. Um, since you are um, in charge when um, Rev is not around, do you face any challenges in this breeding and stuff like that? Um, personally, I, I, there are a little bit challenges. The challenge is that maybe probably when a new dog comes in, 
and then you are not too familiar with the most even most of the times I'm not at home. I go to work and then I come in and all that. So probably you come in fresh and there's a new dog on block. That dog doesn't really know you <laughs> that you live in this house and then you enter and it, it will misbehave a bit. But then um so far as the passion is there. You know all what we've been talking about we've been talking about passion. You know the passion is there. Within a day I mean, sometimes some few hours, you just, you know, you get acquainted with them and you are okay. I mean, so I, I mean challenges, well, I say we manage everything, yeah. Can you, can you remember an instance where a new dog came in and... Uh -huh. yes, I remember there was a dog, there's a... Why my car? <laughs> the that came in called Guy. Okay. Yes, and I, that, that dog, I don't know. I was supposed to go for a chest service. And you know, I was coming to fetch water from outside. And guy, this this Caucasian, <clears throat> I don't know, but he was so aggressive. And I remember I wanted to come out and the dog was lying just at the staircase. The dog practically stopped me from going to church. Because that day, I mean, he messed up with me. And every strategy I know I can use for dogs, you know, you shout a bit or something. That dog does not hear anything. So I'm be I can't do better than Jesus of here, but in fact, guy better than Jesus of here. I mean, I mean. So since you've been seeing um lot of dog breeds, meeting them up, um, which dog breed would you say is your favorite and you really love them? Personally, personally, I have grown to love the Rottweiler. Yes, I have grown to love them. But some few days when this bullies came in, trust me, I think my love for bullies is also developing. <laughs> he's, not he's not a real man. Real man loves rot. In fact, I'm a rot bias. Eh? All these other uh, bits you are seeing, it's just because, uh, let me put it this way, it's becoming a demand from outside. Now, I bought all those dogs, but people come around, oh, we want a dog to mate uh, females and we are not getting this. And that is just the reason why I'm buying all the other ones. But to breed, I want to be a rot breeder. Uh, I, am, I am a rot bias. If you don't like rot wireless, I don't like you. <laughs> Your brother is not real. Oh, you know, personally, Blessed Empire is known for rot wireless. You know when we came for the um, the KUG dog show last year, you know we brought in solid pedigree Rottweilers. If if anybody wants Rottweiler, currently we don't. My brother doesn't want to say it, but trust me, people who know, you say if you know, you know. If you want a solid Rottweiler in Ghana and you are mentioning names, you cannot take out Blessed Empire, unless maybe probably. I don't want to use the word, you are envious of us. <laughs> Other than that, trust me, this kennel is known for solid Rottweiler. When you enter this place, at least with your eye, you can count not less than 10 solid Rottweiler male dogs. And the names in this are, you know, there's a brand we are keeping. And the brand we are keeping here, there's no way you can bring in a dog who does not fit in the brand, you know. Mentioning this, we have Astor, we have Draza, you know, we have Nino, Dixon, you know, Commander. You can just to mention a few. These are popular dogs known in the dog world. And then when we say Rottweiler, we are doing it. And then we are poised to bring in, mo I mean, powerful, pedigree, solid Rottweiler. Uh, and in the next year or two, trust me, this kennel will be faced, uh, will, will be. I mean, packed with solid Rottweiler dogs. Yeah, yeah. This is beautiful. Lovely viewers. You can see he has started mentioning names. He has started mentioning names. And that is my favorite part where we get to see all of the dogs right here. He has mentioned Asto. I've met with Asto before. He has mentioned Draza. I think Draza is a champion too, yeah. right? Uh, Draza came in um, about three weeks ago. Uh, he was in Nigeria, but from Timito. He uh, was in Nigeria and then I picked it from Nigeria. Uh, wow, wow, wow. That's beautiful. Um, Rev, we are, we, will get, we are getting to my favorite part where we get to check out the other dogs. But then we're going to check the dogs, but I'm also going to let you, let my lovely viewers check out the monkeys, the birds, and everything. It's GH Dog TV, but trust me, today we are going monkeys, we are going birds, and we are going dogs as well. So, Rev, um, before we get to that part, just in case um, somebody wants to link up with Blessed Empire Kennel, I'd like you to drop your contact. I know this is where the viewers are. 
are waiting for. They love to pick the numbers and get in touch. So I'd like you to drop your contact number, your social media handles. And I think um, you also mentioned something that you are running a promotion if you would add it up to as well. Yeah. Oh, you're interested in the promotion yeah. part. Oh, so loose. So my viewers are also interested. <laughs> so loose. I'm going to say, 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 Dog lovers, eh? What Ghana? Me pese me 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 so me me dog. See, ye 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 su ye ye su awo ye ni na eh? Eno ane ye di di hong. Eno ane di abe jina be bi ye nti. Ye be di ye su awo ina afi so be bi. Ma ya majun e se ubi ode ne krama e be ba. Se ye Frenchy, e ye Park, e ye Chuchu, e ye Rod, e Boabu. Ubi ya o be be bi ya ano. Se di en cafe se me jeno. Imagine half. So I'm giving 50% discount. Wow, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Hey, lovely viewers. I'm sure you're happy. He says in December he's running a promo. And the promo, 50% discount on all crossing start services. I'm sure you are excited. Now, Rev, drop drop the contact. I'm sure somebody is eagerly waiting to give you a call right there. Uh, okay, plus 233-5471. Another 71. Seven seven four, and the other one is plus two three three five four seven one seven one seven seven three. And also on social media as well. Uh, that is Blessed Empire Kennel. Blessed Empire Kennel on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram everywhere. It's same. Blessed Empire Kennel. Nice one, lovely viewers. Lovely viewers. I'm, 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 I'm getting excited. I've loved this whole interview. This is where we are bringing today's interview to an end. We are going to the part you've been waiting for. We are going to check out all the dogs right here. Solid boa bulls. But then, Rev, let me um, let you say your final words to our lovely viewers and then we go check out all of the dogs. I want to tell all your lovely viewers that I love them all. Okay. I love them all. Uh, Blessed Empire, we say we owe no man nothing but love. And that is all we do. We love everyone and we want everyone also to accept us like that. We have our mistakes, but hey, US, don't count on our mistakes. Know that we love you. And that is all. Thank you very much. Nice one. Blessed Empire Kennels. Blessed Empire Kennels loves you. And so does GH Dog TV. Don't go anywhere. We are getting to my favorite part. We are checking out the dogs. Okay, Rev, let's start with these dogs right here. Can you tell us um, the breed, the name, and everything, and where you got them from? This, this one is the uh, American Bully, but this is the Chinese type. It's the Chinese type of American Bully, wow. Okay. Uh, What's his name? Th this is the female. Her name is Fusi. They give them Chinese names. So this one is Fusi. And then the, the one there is Toki. And this one is macho, but the way there is it's like macho, but they spell it different. But I pronounce it macho, and uh, he, he responds to that. Since I can't mention the Chinese name, they call it macho, and he, res he responds to that. <laughs> okay, 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 nice one. And they were all imported? Yes, please. Yeah, they came, uh, tomorrow will be exactly one week they came. Yeah. Nice one. Those one of um, Turkey as well. Uh, that is uh, Roy. Uh, the Hungarian champion. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Roy is a, uh, uh, I need to, I need to check it, check the full pedigree name. But the name is Roy. But he's an adult uh, Hungarian champion. He also wow. Came last Tuesday, he came with this ones. Oh, nice, nice, nice. He loves me, and I love him as well. Roy, right? He's a good boy. Okay, that's Roy right there. And what about our lovely friend here as well? Uh, this boy, his name is Bishop. In fact, his pedigree name is not Bishop. His pedigree name is some name, name. I don't even want to even have anything to do with it. But I named it Bishop because it's nice. And my father is a Bishop. So I named him after my father. But I don't want to mention the name Bernard Uzu answer. So I call it Bishop. Uh, so if anybody asks me, I said I name him after my father. So I just call him Bishop. Yeah. Wow, and he's very, he's very majestically looking. Lovely people, check Bishop out. Very, very beautiful. So I think um, we are done with the smaller dogs. Or so there are other ones as well. Uh, there are other ones, but those ones are, are they've given birth. We have Doxy, that is the poodle, and then we have um, Quintana. Uh, that one is an uh, American bully, the standard one. 
but uh, he's also having poppies in there. Nice one, lovely viewers. Now, we're going to check out the big dogs, the rotties, the bobos, and everything. So let's go check them out as well. Rev, this boy is a big boy. Yeah, yeah, he is. Can you tell us something about this lovely boy? That's Nino. Nino? <laughs> That's the name of my big brother. Nino, if you're watching, <laughs> check out your replica right here. I'm Kwaku. Kwaku, okay. Yes. Uh, his head is like uh, one of my friends. His name is Kwaku Dixon. And then this one, uh, his, his, uh, his pedigree name is Dixon. So I call him Kwaku Dixon. Nice one. So all of the meals here, you're giving fifty percent, and Koku is also part. Yes, yes, yes. Nice one, lovely viewers. Let's check out Koku right there. That's a Dixon, right? Yes, nice one. What about this lovely boy here? And that is Astor. Astor? Yes. Astor is very known. Among all the Rottweiler breeders, everyone knows him. Yeah. Uh, That's beautiful. I met Astor at the KG Dog Show last year. Beautiful boy. Check, check, check. Just check him out in case you need Astor for stud service. Link up with Rev as soon as possible. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Nice word, Rev. Okay, Reverend, what about our lovely friend here? And that is Lord Black, the stubborn boy. <laughs> Lord Black? Yes, from Black Seduction. Nice. So what do you like about Lord Black? Uh, I don't like anything about him. He produces very well. That is the only thing. He's too stubborn. You see the way I've done the cage? Yeah. Him alone, I've raised the cage because the least you do, it will finish you. He's very, very strong. He's very strong and very bad. Wow. Also available for crossing. Yes, yes. Lovely viewers. Very well. He's very sweet puppies. Nice one. Check out Lord Black, lovely viewers. Check out Lord Black. Wow, Lord the Stubborn Boy. Fine dog right there.
Reverend, what about our friend here? Uh, that, that is Commandant. Commandant. But his common name is Manche. Manche, that means a, a, a king. Yes, yes. That is okay. his name. Also available for still set. What did you get him for? Uh, this one, actually, I bought it in Ghana here. Somebody uh, was owing it. Humble brought it. It was for somebody and the person was selling it, so I bought it. That's Manche, right? They're also available for crossing and stood. And what about our lovely friend here? That is Draza Spanta Arena. Draza Spanta Arena. Yeah, that is the son of Timito. Dr. Timito. Dr. Timito. This is the son of Dr. Timito. Yes. Right here in Ghana. Yes. Yes. Nice. So when did you get him as well? Uh, this one I bought it from Nigeria. Daffy. Okay, 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 okay. Big shout outs to Daffy of um, Daffy Kennels. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Daffy dogs in Nigeria. Okay, okay, okay. Nice one, lovely viewers. Check him out, check him out, check him out. Check him out. Beautiful. Available for crossing as well. Okay, Rev, and what about our lovely friend? He's also a big boy right here. Yeah, that is the beast. We call him the beast. His name is Bismarck. But Bismarck the beast. I call him BB for short. <laughs> Bismarck the beast, also available for stuff. Yes, please. Did you get Bismarck from as well? Uh, from Mr. Sampong, uh, the, the uh, happy home owner. He's the one that brought it to Ghana. Wow, nice one, nice one, nice one. Very beautiful. Check him out. Also available for services and don't forget that there's a promo that's running here at blessed empire kennel 50 percent discount in december look sharp link up as quickly as possible nice work okay rev so this is the last dog right here yes and he's, he's such a big boy as well yes yes his father was actually the biggest boy in south africa I just last month. What's the name of that um, meal? The Bobes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Check him out. So what's the name of this dog? Smash Awesome. Smash Awesome. And how old is he? Awesome is three and a half. Three and a half. Wow, lovely viewers. Check him out, check him out, check him out. Wow. Search. He's also available for crossing as well. Yes, please. Wow, wow, wow. Lovely viewers now. This is the last dog right here at Blessed Empire. I'm sure you love today's episode on GH Dog TV. Different breeds of dogs, Boabus, Rottweilers, Chow Chows, American Bullies, and all of that right there. Now, if in case this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the bell icon to always be updated whenever we drop yet another exclusive dog content. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at GH Dog Blogger and log on to our official website at www.ghdogblogger.com. This show was proudly sponsored by Eminent Dog Feed and Poppy Milk. You want a dog feed to feed your dogs? Come on, just pick the number, call them 0244-820-350. My name is Solo One. You can call me the Dog Blogger. Catch you another time.
GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.